Hello everyone. So far we looked at MCLE, Maximum Conditional Likelihood Estimation for Logistic Regression. In this video, we will introduce MCAP, Maximum Conditional A Posteriori Estimation. So MCLE is a conditional equivalent of MLE. And MCAP is a conditional equivalent of map we know that in map we introduce a prior we saw that in point estimation here similarly we are going to introduce a prior prior is in introduced on the parameters and the parameters of the logistic regression function are the weights so we introduce a prior on the weights so p of w is a prior on the weights so here are the weights it's a function on weights and this particular form of function should remind you of something it is a Gaussian prior it's a Gaussian prior with zero mean and an identity covariance so we are choosing the prior to be from a Gaussian distribution now we will see that the introduction of this prior is very similar to adding a regularization term to our function that we were going to optimize because both these have the same effect on w the final weights that are learned they push those parameter values the weight values towards zero both regularization and the addition of a gaussian prior have a similar effect that's why a prior could be used as a proxy for regularization and then we can use MCAP maximum conditional a posteriori estimation to solve for W now just reminding you what we did for MCLE we had a conditional log likelihood time so this is the conditional log likelihood term right and now to that we have an additional term this term is coming from the prior so the Gaussian prior the main function that has W has this form has E raised to minus wi square by 2 k square and now here because we have a log to the base n right before our probability and that function that log also carries over to this is applied to the prior and when we do that we get the log and e cancel out and we get a constant times w square that's what we get and that's how we get this term this prior term added to our function now we have this entire term so i'm going to erase some of it just this is too crowded now okay so we have this entire term that we are going to use to solve for w so in this entire term we have two terms here one is coming from the conditional log likelihood the other one is coming from the prior and both these terms have w in them and we are going to now learn the values of w that maximizes entire entire term and that is going to be our solution or the map estimate of w whatever we learn after solving this argmax is nothing but w map or the map estimate for w now let's see a little bit more about this so we have w nothing but 
the solution for W, the MAP estimate, or MCAP actually, the MCAP estimate for W, nothing but argmax over W, sigma over L, where L corresponds to the examples. And then we have a conditional log likelihood term. And then we have a prior term. Now we have solved this before. The first part already we solved. We reduced it for MCLE. So I'm going to just substitute it from the previous slides. It comes out to be equal to this. And now we have another term here, lambda by 2, w square. Remember, we are doing a partial derivative with respect to wi to solve for w. We are doing a partial derivative with respect to wi, right? So here in w square, we also have one term that corresponds to wi, which is nothing but wi square and the differentiation of wi square with respect to wi is 2 wi so partial derivative with respect to wi of w square is equal to 2 wi and now 2 wi substituting that here with a constant the 2 in the bottom denominator cancels out and we get minus lambda wi now, our new weight update rule for gradient descent is going to be this. Wy would be set to the previous value of Wy plus eta, which is the learning rate, right? And then this first term, which is partial derivative of L of W with respect to WI, which we have calculated already during MCLE calculations. And we are just going to use that because the first term is the same. Now, the second term for the MCAP estimate is coming from the prior. And now we know that is lambda minus lambda WI. And we are going to multiply that also with the learning rate. Now we can see that there is a term that adds on to the wi and there is a term that subtracts some fraction of wi which means it is penalizing the weights and driving them towards smaller values or towards zero because it adds a negative linear term to the gradient which works very similar to regularization which if we remember also tries to drive the weights to lower values or towards zero if the features are not important right so essentially when we introduce a prior, we have a similar effect of penalizing high weights. That's why M cap could be used as regularization as well. And often it's way more effective than using MCLE because it solves the problem of having higher weights, which will get lead to overfitting.